Warning to my viewers. There is a chance I may not return from the place I'm going to. No, it's not war. It's far worse. Florida. I was exploring south of where we're gonna go, and I found something, well, interesting to say the least. Oh, way down south in the land of traders, rattlesnakes and alligators, right away, right away, come away. Now, first off, Boot Key Harbor is in the middle of the uh, Florida Keys, and it is on Vaca Key, and it's just kind of like right there. Now, there's some very strange things going on here. If I go to satellite view, you can see that, uh, first off, there's that thing. But uh, here's that broken down bridge I was talking uh, that I showed in the one part there. There's this weird tent on a boat, possible drug stuff, ton of like crashed boats. I think it's because of a Hurricane Irma. And then I swear that's the pizzeria from FNAF 3. And then continuing on, um, yeah, here's this super sketch area that apparently was abandoned but looks like it's still in use. So I'll get into more detail into this later. Here's a picture of what Buki looked like before Hurricane Irma. And I'm pretty sure the hurricane just absolutely destroyed everything. And as you can see, there are noticeably, there is not that giant building in the center, which kind of raises my suspicion. Now, I'm no boot key lore enthusiast, and I don't know everything about boot key, but there is this one news story that also caught my attention. Apparently, there was a shooting where a man, a Florida man, killed three people with a flare gun on a boat, which is terrible. And it also just like, I don't really know, this place gives off very eerie vibes. I mean, just look at it compared to the surrounding key. It just looks like a ghost island sort of thing. And it really like, I don't know, it seems like a mystery that I want to solve. Although there's probably no mystery here and I'm just trying to solve nothing. But hey, <laughs> the first noticeable landmark I kind of cover is the broken down drawbridge. To my understanding, after Hurricane Irma, this became like super hard to maintain, so I decided to just like stop it. And now it just kind of sits here and is a reminder that this island is completely deserted, which I think is pretty cool. Next, we have this massive ship graveyard, which I'm pretty sure used to be marina, but then once the hurricane came in, it all flooded, and now there's just a ton of ships lying everywhere. I don't really like know why nobody tried to clean this up yet. Like. Are they just going to leave all them here as landmarks? Like, I don't know. It's really interesting. And at first, like, I don't know. It's just cool. Next, we have the FNAF 3 Pizzeria, which I swear to God, I did not research and just thought it looked kind of weird. How the, Like, it, this looks like it blew up. Like, it even looked like a hurricane went through this. So I would like, if anyone in the comments would like to tell me what happened to this, I would uh, highly appreciate it. Next, we have the shadiest part of the whole entire key, and that's uh this. I don't really know what this is. I th it said it was like a news station or like they it used to be something related to like the press or something. I don't know. That was pre-Irma, but right now it looks just like a scrapyard. There's all these like abandoned boats on the shore, some like some submerged others on the water. I honestly think that looks like a submarine. I don't really know either giant giant gas pipe or submarine. There's other ships here. Uh, there's, like, uh, all these, like, small boats just kind of, like, stuck up on the corners. But what's most interesting is coming up here is that there's a houseboat, but unlike the other boats, this looks like it is still, like, operational and, like, actually in use, which kind of, uh, it's a little sussy. God, suspicious. Oh, my God. Excuse me for my band kid humor. And then up here, though, we have something really strange. And that's the, the tent boat, as I like to call it. I don't know if these are just fishermen. I don't know who this is. But there's a boat with a tent on it, and it looks fully operational. I don't know what this is, and it's very, very uh, intriguing. So if anyone knows what this is, please tell me. That was a very basic overview of Boot Key Harbor and its uh, quote-unquote lore. But if anyone wants to correct me or, like, prove me wrong, please do so, as I kind of want to make this into a series. Or if you have any suggestions for what islands or places I should do next, I would do so. Because for some reason, I really liked making this, and I thought it was pretty fun to do. Uh, if you watch all the way through, please subscribe. And uh, see you if there's an episode two.